everyone. Um, we're moving. <laughs> and I really wanted to film a tour of this house before we go. I actually really wish I'd done this for our old house, although that was long before I had it a YouTube channel. But I, this is something I would like to look back at, but also I love having a nose around other people's houses. So if you're like me, hopefully you will really enjoy having a little look around, um, you know, how we've set up our home, <laughs> like the, the decor, the feel, all the stuff. So yeah, uh, so in a second, I'm gonna get on to the house tour. Um, before that, just briefly to tell you a bit about the move. I don't know when it's happening. At some point, I will film a packing video and I will vlog moving day and then I'll do a tour of the new house. So I will share it all with you and on my Emma Rosen home Instagram account, which I'll link below. Um, so basically we had no intention of moving, I mean, potentially ever. We really love our home. And part of the issue is that really to move to somewhere that had the same amount of space would have just, just too much money, quite frankly. Um, and then this particular property came up and it's really funny because a friend of mine shared it on his Facebook. And I saw it when I'd got home from band one night at about one o'clock in the morning and was kind of trying to, you know, calm down and get ready for sleep. And I had a look at this property and thought, oh, that's nice, quite like that. Forgot about it completely. The next day, my husband sent me a link because he gets like a Zoopla um, alert because, do you know, we both really love looking at property, just, we're just both interested in it. So he always has half an eye on what's available. And he sent it to me and went, oh, have you seen this place? And I was like, yes, actually, I saw it last night and I really like it. And he was like, oh, should we go and see it? Now we have not viewed a house since this one. Uh, so that was a bit wild that although we've looked online, we've never actually then gone and seen a house. So uh, we went to see this place, he went, then I went, and then we kind of went, oh, I don't know, I don't know if it will work um, because there are a few downsides to the new house that we weren't sure we were prepared to compromise on. And it kept coming up, we kept discussing it and we kept going, should we, no, maybe not. Oh, but, but what about, and it just wouldn't go away. And then there was one particular issue, which when we moved to the house, I will uh, explain more fully. Essentially, it's got a loft conversion and there's nowhere to put any clothes because <laughs> you can't put a wardrobe. And that was one of the biggest issues. And my husband solved it. And he said, actually, there's this little area here. We could knock a wall out. This could become like a built-in wardrobe. And as soon as he said that, I was like, well, then it works. And he was like, shall we move there then? I was like, okay. <laughs> so um, we then started the whole process of putting in offers and all of the stuff. And that, gosh, that was months ago, absolutely months ago. Um, so now we are close to moving, but we haven't got a date. It could be in the next couple of weeks. It could not be. There's, it, these things are always an unknown. Um, so yeah, that's happening. When I have been saying on here, I'm really busy, there's a lot of stuff going on. There's some like home stuff and personal stuff going on. That's what I was talking about, we're moving house. Um, so anyway, in this video, I'm gonna show you a bit of a tour of this house for the memories. And then I will be sharing with you the whole experience of moving. I am attached to this house, we all are because um, we moved here before we had our children. It's a beautiful, beautiful house. We love it so much. We're just, we love our neighbors. <laughs> Lots of people have gone, why are you moving? <laughs> um, yeah, we really love it here, um, but it's the right thing for us. Um, when I show you the new place, I'll, I'll explain why, um, but it's just, it's too much to get into in this video. Um, but yeah, I love this house. I gave birth to my daughter in this house. Um, yeah, lots of memories, of course. So um, anyway, I wanted to share this with you. And so here we go. Here's my tour of our house. So when you open the front door to our house, the first thing that you're confronted with is the stairs. And I think that this used to be open to the living room. So this would be kind of just a much easier area to enter the house. But now, um, basically you kind of have to edge around each other when you come into the house. So, I mean, it's not a great hardship, but just one of those things. Um, we recently got these curtains and I think they're super cute. I love the pom-poms um, because 
if you watched our video about changing all of the carpets, um, we got new carpets. So when we first moved in, I put lots of pictures up the walls and painted kind of, I think it was blue and it just, it seemed like a lot. So I ended up taking everything down, but I actually feel like it's quite stark in here now. Anyway, um, if you come upstairs, then around here is our room. So I'll start in here. Um, so I feel like this is a pretty decent sized master bedroom. Um, and behind me is a really big window. And then we've got a small window over there. So up here we have hand and footprints, which we probably did when the kids were about two weeks old. And they're just really cute. They remind me of when they were little babies. Um, this up here, a student did this when I went on maternity leave for my third baby. And it just reminds me of lovely students. I just, you know, it's not just her, but lots of just happy memories. So I love having a kind of memento of my teaching career up there. And it's really pretty as well. Um, so this is our bed and over here you can see this is my side of the bed because you've got a leaning tower of books, <laughs> pictures of the kids when they were babies, all three of them are there hidden behind the books and um, then here I always, because I have kind of mild eczema, I always have to have some kind of body lotion or something on hand because I wake up in the night itchy and yeah, so yeah you can always tell if I have been in a room. Um, so then we have a triple wardrobe in here. I have too many clothes. This is my wedding dress and that's my mum's wedding dress. And then that is a massive photo frame that I have not used yet. Basically, I decided that it can wait until we've moved. Um, we've got this small window here and I love having glass on, you know, window ledges, coloured glass so that you just get that lovely light shining through. This is a really, really bright room. We've got a um, full length mirror in here and then over here, this is my dressing table and then our chest of drawers. Over here, we've got um, two builder bears. So this is mine, this is Karate Bear. This is my husband's Spock Bear and then a few little other memory teddies and a Rogue headphone. Well, <laughs> it's just evidence that um, this house has always got stuff left out. Anyway, so yeah, that's our bedroom. And then through here, um, this is our youngest room. So she's got the box room. This is a cupboard over the stairs, which because the rail is really high in it and I am very short, this just, it's ended up as a junk cupboard. And so there's not really very much that we can do to make her room work better. So her, um, all of her books, you know, her bookcase is kind of buried at the end of her bed. Um, this is one of the reasons that we were looking to move because, you know, it would just be great for her to have a bit more space. Um, let's see. This is Steven Seagull. <laughs> and when people come and stay, if they stay in her room, it's like in their face. Um, I got these prints from Decenio ages ago. Um, yeah, because this is rainbows and unicorns themed, although now she wants a blue bedroom. Um, this, I think my sister-in-law bought for her. This is a sewing that I did. So yeah her little room, nice. um, come down here. And this is our middle child's room. So um, our eldest daughter. And so she has a mermaid themed room, hence the kind of blue glow. Um, up here, oh, we've got some mermaid prints. This is a sewing I did for her and she really liked that. Um, I think it's Van Gogh, possibly. Um, so then she's got mermaidy bed and some plants. This is her new desk, which we recently got her. So she loves this corner desk. She's got um, this drawing I did for her. This one um, I bought just a few mermaid bits around. She painted this, it's a paint by numbers. So yeah, oh, it's fallen down, look at that. I'll have to fix that, oh well. Um, so, oh, and these stickers, we've had these for years. These used to be in my son's room. Um, when when he was very very little and I think I think they're done but uh the kids love them so oop because our youngest has got a few on the wall as well but I think I think those are done now 
So from May's room, you then come into our bathroom. I recently put a new floor down, which I really like. They're just vinyl stick-on tiles. Um, this room is really, really bright, and it used to be painted white, but it was just too much. It was blinding in here, so I repainted it this dark, almost black, really. It's very dark grey, and it's a lot better in here. This was my sister-in-law's, and um, I repainted the frame and I really, really like it in here. Um, it's just, the color palette is just perfect. Yeah, I really love it. I love this kind of dark, I don't know, almost industrial <laughs> look in here. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, a, it's this huge window. It's just super, super bright. Um, but yeah, our, our bathroom. Oh, and I love <laughs> the glittery toilet seat. That was a recent addition as well. So yeah, there's our bathroom. And then you go down here. This right, so then in here is Finn's room. I shan't show you too much in here because he's that bit older, you know. Um, but this is quite a big room, but it's quite a dark room. And so although he loves these kind of bold colours, it used to be blue before. And I love this dark green with the navy. But um, because this room is north facing, it would just be a lot to have a lot of dark colours. So we keep the white walls in here as well. Um, but yeah, he has to keep the light on in here. It is quite dark. This paint by numbers, he started off and then I finished it. I think it just kind of brings in the colours. But yeah, so that's Finn's room. So from Finn's room, you go back down the stairs. And this door actually is relatively new. I think um, we've had it about two years perhaps because our old door was a wooden door that got stuck when it was wet weather so <laughs> it used to swell up um, and then you go into our living room and this room is also north facing but I feel like it works in here it's just a pleasant kind of cool room if the rest of the house is really hot in the summer and really bright in here just feels like a sanctuary I don't know I really like it Although there is a really big window behind me. So although it's darker because of the aspect, it's not as dark as Finn's room because um, he's only got a small window in his room. These are the fish. So <laughs> there you go. Some fish. We've got lots of baby fish and lots of snails at the moment. Um, but yeah, I just find this room quite chilled and peaceful. This is where I quite often film videos. It was my birthday recently. Um, so... Yeah, my bookcase, which a friend made for me. I like this sandy toes and salty kisses, even though it's a little bit live, laugh, love. I <laughs> just quite like it. Um, yeah, I just find this room quite relaxing and that's what a living room should be, in my opinion. It's funny, the um, colour of the walls I redecorated in here and I spent ages trying to colour match because I loved this colour. Why has it gone out of focus? Um, and then I, I went, oh, I'll just buy this. This is roughly the same colour. And by some miracle, the paint that I randomly picked up was the exact same colour, which I don't even... I mean, that's a really cool story, isn't it? Fascinating paint chats. A friend of mine bought me this ages ago, and I really, really love it. But yeah, our living room, I, I like it in here. I like all our rooms, but yeah, it's pretty, pretty chilled in here. All right, so next we're gonna head through this door. This is going into our extension. So this actually used to be a window. Um, and actually it had the most amazing light, but it was totally worth building our extension. So this is our dining room and I really love it. You can see we have quite a large garden as well, um, which, I will miss, but I won't miss having to keep it up. So there's the chickens at the end of the garden. So we've got a corner plot. So that's our garden. And then it goes out this way as well. Um, so it's lovely having, just being able to sit at our dining table and look out at just, you know, a nice garden. I mean, it's not the most beautiful, but it's it's outdoors and, and I love it. So, um, and then in here we've got some of the girls' toys. This is mostly Zoe's stuff because she doesn't have the room in her bedroom. And then the piano and guitar and ukulele. <laughs> There's sort of a music corner and the didgeridoo. 
So yeah, and the the pram, any other parents have like a toy pram or pushchair that's just has nowhere to live and is always in the way. It's just always in the middle of a room. Um, anyway, so yeah, that's our dining room. The floor in here is totally, totally broken. So um, we asked the people buying our house whether they wanted us to fix it or they'd rather do it themselves so they can have what they want and they would rather do their own thing. So we're leaving it as it is. But very long story short, the uh, something was wrong with the underlay and the thickness of the laminate or something. I don't know. Exciting. Right. Here's a dog. This is where the dog is found. In the hottest place she can find. In a ray of sunlight somewhere. You all right there, Dolly? <laughs> so this, when we first moved in, this was our dining room. This space here. Um, so you can see we kept open the view down the garden so you can stand in the kitchen and still look down the garden which is nice but yeah originally our dining table was here and we had plans to extend the kitchen so that the kitchen would be this whole room now that we had a dining room but that's never happened and so <laughs> there you go um in fact when we moved in there was a wall probably about the middle of this and we had that knocked out so that this would be open plan so yeah, our kitchen, we had this put in. I absolutely adored this, but now it's really not my style. I love this. This is from Canterbury Pottery and it says vegetables on one side, potatoes on the other. We keep potatoes and look, crumbs, you see? It's, and my phone going, this is such a professional thing. Um, yeah, so we keep potatoes and onions in that. This up here, <laughs> Like this corner seriously everything's just gone untidy and wrong never mind um so this bookcase that i have for my um my uh cookbooks my friend who made the bookcase also made me this so this is bespoke for this corner but we'll still be taking that with us um over here i should point out a few things that are cute we've still got the remaining easter eggs here this is from um a company called Expressions in Canterbury, although I think they don't have a shop there anymore. So they are operating sort of a mobile thing, um, but they do like ceramics where, so we've got the kids hand prints and fingerprints and stuff. So super cute. Um, and then this up here, my brother-in-law made, it says masterpieces and we peg the kids artwork up. So that's really cute. Anyway, so kitchen, this by the way, my daughter has made out of a Yazoo bottle. And she loves it. So that's there. Um, yeah, so this is our kitchen. Utility through there. Kitchen. <laughs> I think it's quite countryside-y, but as I say, this kind of just really isn't my vibe anymore. I don't know. Um, these I got at a boot fair about a billion years ago, um, these utensil things. I really like them. Somebody has made these at some point, and I enjoy them very much whoever made those you can see our patio out here um we back onto a field which is really really lovely and the washing's out very nice so it's very pleasant being in here this kitchen is just a lovely spot to sit and have views and outdoorsiness so I'm sure you can understand why when the sun is kind of pouring through these back windows, it's really nice to be able to go in the living room and have some dim, cool light. The dog does this. She lies in the hot until she's too hot and then she'll go in the shade and cool off. And she just lies there panting. You're right, Dolly, having a good time. This is what she likes to do. Um, she's, a, she's a fan of the sun like I am. Um, I wanted to show you, my dad bought me these flowers and funnily enough, this vase that they're in, um, this was a wedding present and I don't know who from because there wasn't a label, but I like it. Um, so <laughs> the, uh, this bunch of flowers was so huge that I had to put them in this massive vase and then there's no surface that's kind of big enough for them to go on so they are just by the rocking chair where we can sit and just look look out at the garden this bureau i absolutely cannot stand by the way <laughs> this is like our desk and i just it's always left open it's a mess i yeah i hate it so um but the kids sit here and do coloring anyway so through into the utility room and it's so great having this. We, so this is the back door. And then through here, 
is a downstairs toilet. And my mum actually wallpapered this. She's really good at wallpapering. Um, but at the time we didn't have a radiator in here and it got too damp. And so um, it didn't last very long. We had to take the wallpaper down. But this is some of the wallpaper. I kept a bit and framed it. <laughs> so yeah, I, I like kind of remembering the when this was like a lighthouse room. Um, yeah, so downstairs toilet and then the utility room, which we kind of use as our entrance to the house because it means when we have the dog and the kids and it just contains the mud and the shoes and the stuff. So this becomes a bit of a dumping ground when everyone comes in. Um, but it is really, really helpful to have a place to put washing, store things, you know, it's a very helpful space. And as I say, we use it as an entry and exit. This, so as I say, it was just my birthday. My sister-in-law bought me this mirror, which is just here for the moment while I decide, well, we'll take it to the new house and uh, put it up there. But yeah, so that would just get packed. And then here is May and Zoe's wood lice. So there's that. <laughs> Um, yeah, and so ends our tour of our house. Let's end it on that beautiful view of my daughter's wood lice, which I want to get them to go and put back out in the garden, and a hoover. Fantastic.